how reliable is carbon dating and what are the strengths and weaknesses of carbon dating yes carbon dating is integral to our study of history and to historical research archaeological research so what is carbon dating how reliable is carbon dating and what are the strengths and weaknesses so carbon dating is also called radiocarbon dating or carbon 14 dating and it's one of the most widely used uh, methods for determining the age of uh, archaeological materials organic materials and this works for materials that are approximately up to 50000 years old and this method was developed i think in the first half of the 20th century maybe in the in the 1940s okay and the technique it uh, it it measures the the decay of a carbon isotope called carbon 14 it's a radioactive isotope and by doing this you are estimating the time since the death of the organism uh, of of the organism or of the organic uh, material so there are three kinds th there are three isotopes <clears throat> that we know of of carbon carbon 12 carbon 13 carbon 14 carbon 12 has six protons six neutrons six electrons and the radionuclide carbon 14 has eight neutrons it has a half life of about 6000 or so years maybe less than that maybe 5700 or so years so carbon dating is used to estimate to a very precise degree the age of organic remains so if you give me a piece of rock and tell me that let's carbon date this it's not going to work because rock is not organic it is an inorganic uh, substance material it's a rock but if you have a piece of bone if you have a piece of wood if you have a seashell this all this stuff is organic uh, remains and you can carbon date that so it's effective in dating uh, organic remains like like these and it can give you a very good estimate as to how old the this material is so that's the strength of carbon dating it works pretty accurately for organic materials like wood and bones and such things up to an uh, up to about 50000 years before today so th those are the strengths the weaknesses is that first of all uh, it only works for samples that are up to 50,000 years old. For older samples, it doesn't work. Why is that? Because of the half-life of this carbon-14 uh, isotope. The half-life is about 5,700, 800 years. And because of that, uh, it only works for samples up to, up to 50,000 years old. And beyond this, there's very little carbon-14 uh, that's left in, the, uh, in older samples, which makes uh, the dating uh, accurate dating more challenging so that's the weakness of carbon dating and then there are other weaknesses like uh, samples can be contaminated by contaminated by external sources of carbon like modern pollution or ancient carbon from fossil fuels which may have contaminated your sample and there's also the problem of variations in the atmospheric carbon 14 fluctuations because of various reasons like fossil fuel burning and nuclear testing uh, above ground nuclear testing which has which has happened of, a lot in the past century in the 20th century especially the 1950s 1960s etc uh, this significantly increased the amount of carbon 14 in the atmosphere this, it's called the bomb pulse it's called the bomb pulse or the bomb surge and this i believe almost doubled the amount of carbon 14 in the atmosphere in the 20th century and that can obviously cause cause problems if you don't account for the bump uh, for the bomb surge bomb pulse so all these are the challenges which uh, you have to address when you're doing carbon 14 dating so carbon 14 dating for pre 1950s samples is reasonably unaffected by nuclear testing but samples later than that you have to account for the uh, nuclear testing uh, bomb surge or bomb pulse in the atmosphere so yeah it's it's challenging and uh, its accuracy the accuracy of radiocarbon dating uh, depends on how carefully you have prepared the sample how much you've ensured that there is no contamination and how well you have calibrated to account for historical variations in the amount of carbon 14 in the atmospheric uh, in, in, in the atmosphere so these are the strengths and weaknesses of carbon dating, radiocarbon dating or carbon-14 dating. It's a pretty good uh, technique that we have for about, for samples that uh, are up to 50,000 years old.